Let's go, 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 let's go
Hello. Hello. I did been really wrong. Okay, we're yeah, on, everybody. Yeah, we're on. We're on. We're on.
Hello, everybody, and welcome into episode one. Uh, yeah, I know it's this, technically the second episode, but the, the pilot episode, but the pilot episode. Shh. This is this is episode this is the one. True, Go track. yeah, true. The true episode one. Yeah. Uh, we are waiting. We'll be waiting a little bit for our third player. Um, one second. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, cryptic. I uh, didn't take into consideration. I tried starting early again because, uh, Ch uh Charlie Zombie, it's got work. But then, I guess cryptic doesn't get off until seven o'clock my time or half six my time. So I'm like, ah, okay, cool. Yeah, two hours is still fine enough for me. Yeah, that's fine. I just have to leave right at four. Well, for Eastern, so yeah, that's, that's nine. It's, it's nine totally your time. We're gonna be waiting for cryptic. Uh, I will keep that in mind. If that's the time cryptic is going to finish every day, then I guess I'll go live at seven o'clock. Yeah. In the meantime, play all the Sentai themes. Uh, yeah. I thought I'd start off a little bit, do it. Oh, I'll do a recap. Uh, but first, we're going to introduce yourself. Hello, I am Twitch the Person, as you can tell by the link you clicked on, or if you're following me and the notification came up in came up on your social medias, or your other things. I don't know how PCs work. Um, I am the Game Master of Power Rangers Cyber Strike. Over to Zombie. Hi, I am Chocolate Zombie 101. Uh, you can, I am here today playing Marika Heymond, our wonderful resident Red Ranger. Uh, you can also find me on the socials at Twitter at Choco Zombie 101 uh, because it was too long for Twitter. Uh, you can find me on Twitch hanging about at Chocolate Zombie 101. Uh, potentially thinking about actually just jumping into streaming tomorrow uh i've been playing through i downloaded some emulators and i've been playing through the pokemon series so i may just decide to stream that tomorrow started on fire red leaf green we'll probably go through like hard gold soul silver uh i'm probably gonna go to omega ruby alpha sapphire because i haven't played the remakes for those at all before i enjoyed Probably platinum because a I don't own a switch and b even if I did I've heard that the BDSP remakes are kind of garbage. Hate them. Uh, that is me, Deluna. Hello, my name is Duel Thirteen. I am going to be playing our resident Blue Ranger Nova in this little this little venture. You can find me on Twitter at dluna1338 and anywhere else at Deluna Thirteen. I'm going to, like, I didn't want to speak over yours, but I was going to say, like, the, as someone who played uh, Brilliant, or Brilliant Diamond, don't, don't get any of those. Like, those games are horrible. Like, the battle system is the best thing, and that is not good, considering it's Pokemon. Of course, our third player, who is on their way home from work, as we said. Uh, is Cryptic Cyogen. I don't know their socials off by heart, but they will be playing our resident Yellow Ranger, Arrow. I don't know if they have a last name. But yeah. And until they arrive, we're just going to shoot the shit. So, recap. Last episode, we found out that many worlds have had many refugees come to this space station. Uh, up on streams. This space station, this nondescript space station, it belongs to another franchise I wasn't aware. I just pulled it off Google as I want to do. Screw you, DM. It is also where we met our potential Ranger team. 
Uh, over the course of the refugees arriving, uh, we met several key characters, one being Professor Daxian, the brother of King Lexian of Edenoi. Uh, we also met a very young Anubis Doggy Kruger. And towards, let's say towards, towards lights out, uh, as it were, the station came under attack from Dark Spectre's forces, which promptly led us to ending our session with our trio of Marika, Aero, and Nova, along with Professor Dexian. Uh, as you can see right here, Professor Lef I gave him his own token. Look at this. Woo! Sorry, Daxian, not Daxian. Uh, Professor Daxian running to the hangar where Professor Daxian has hidden. Uh, well, hidden something. He hasn't really been descriptive about it, but he's hidden something. And it is now up to these th uh, our three heroes. I'm going to keep that. I can't call you Rangers yet. She haven't morphed. Uh, to help acquire what it is Professor Daxian's looking for. Also, they were met, upon coming to the hangar, they were met with a scene of these putties. Putty patrollers. If you don't know what the putty patrollers are, they are... Uh, they're these looking things. These grey looking clay monsters. Uh, they are typical work grunts. Uh, usually seen in the employ of one Rita Repulsa. But uh, Dark Spectre has many, many resources and is able to do many things. Just on a whim. A simple word. And that is where we left off last time. So that's the recap. Uh, now we wait for. Uh, what did you, I, I? I actually, I actually want to know just because we're that leather. How did? How did everyone enjoy last session? What were the thoughts? Because the one thing I got back was just like, "Damn, this shit dark." No, see, that makes sense for the or for what you what you told us. So I'm like. Okay, this is this is like a more serious take on Power Rangers. I like this, but it's, I'm sure that the other the other two will agree. Dark and not the not like that one crappy parody movie from 2015 or so. Hmm. <laughs> I actually quite like that one. I like the take on it, but I'm just like. When we roll in the shit off path. But yeah, like I'm like, yes, this is dark in the right or in the right way, basically. Where it's like, yeah, they're they're in a war, so it's not gonna be all sunshine and rainbows and and like yeah. color like but That's... the pro or but the pro the place tomorrow type of shit. The <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing that oh, is, is that is like in the part, like in the law of Power Rangers. Like, like you see what happens on Earth between like Lord Zed and Rita. And all that. That's like minuscule compared to Dark Spectre's forces, especially in the comic book law of things. Like it's not, not only that, but it's also the like. Another like here's another chance to shit on Megaforce, but one of the main things that they had in their disposal is they could have made that se or that season like kind of like RPM where it was dark but it was reassuring because they're like they got invaded like three times. The way that I always wanted to put it, uh, this is my personal like idea. If I were to remake, uh. Megaforce is super mega force. I would have wanted obviously one both of them being their own separate things, but uh for Mega Force I would have loved to have seen more use of the Go Kaiger like mechanic and more like the Rangers were like monks 
and actually have the plot set on uh, Altar. So it would be like, hey, this is this monk temple on Altar that is like dedicated to like all the knowledge of the Power Rangers. And oh, look at this. The planet is under attack by this person. So these monks now have to become Power Rangers in order to, you know, save the planet. And then we cut into Super Mega Force. And it's like, okay, now you realize that, oh, it's not just Altar. The entire, like, Power Rangers universe is under attack by this mega army. So, hey, here's all of these, here's all of these uh, Ranger keys that you can use to become the Rangers from the past and go and do the saving thing. Yeah. So, hey, Cryptic. Cryptic here, yeah. yeah. Go Kaiser told it better. Go Kaiser told it better. I think Cryptic's actually in that car. Yeah. I mean, he's not wrong. He well, isn't wrong. I mean, you know, but it was... What I'll say in terms of, like, as as someone who recently rewatched all all those seasons, because I was like, let me see if it's as bad as it, I remember, and yes, it was. There was good ideas... Bad execution. Like the idea of it of Gose being like, "Hey, I was mentored by Zordon. He gave he let me this this temple to protect all the souls of the Ranger Keys. That's interesting." I th- honestly think that they could have that one random scene or that one random episode in Super Mega Force where it's basically like, "Hey, we're gonna go back to Mega Force and just do their finale because we don't have any anything." That should have been the season one finale, yeah. where like they just, they basically lose their powers and goes. He's like, okay, so I, I plan for this. Here are these powers, which are going to give you access to all the other powers. Yeah, I didn't like yeah. that. The suits were basically a power up, super mega mode. I didn't like that, but you know, it is what it is. It it was cool. I, it, it, it was cool to see some of the old old, old characters come. Mm-hmm. I do like when on the on the car is thing, when he sees uh TJ Cassie. Hey guys, this is your par. This is your uh finale. They're parody. Don't you remember the better times? Hmm. I I think though I will say I do think the one thing that like Super Mega Force actually did mm-hmm. well was the guest spots and bringing back all the old Rangers. Yeah. Specifically, I think Casey's episode was actually really well done, and uh, Casey's actor actually was co-writer for that episode. Yeah, like that's actually the reason that Casey's episode was basically a one for one of the of the Sentai counterpart yeah. because he is a fan of Sentai, and he is a, or he is a actual like one of the writers, and he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna bis- I'm here already. I might as well just do this." Yeah, it's Jason Smith, I think, was is the actor's name. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he was a lead writer on that episode, and that's why I was like, that's why I think it was still like a very good episode. And like the slow, like the slow introduction of like the never before seen powers, uh, I I still think like the comics did a better job of like explaining these. Where did these people come from? No, I mean yeah, they. But it is what I mean, it is. What ones showed up in in Super Mega Force? It was the Squadron Rangers, mm-hmm. Supersonic, the Prism Rangers, Prism Rangers, yeah. and the Supersonic Rangers. Right? But they they weren't called that like at the time though. Oh. But that's that is the name they were given. I'm like. Yeah. Okay, I I saw that episode when it first came out. I'm like, ooh, they're putting out the episode, or they're going to actually like adapt certain Gokaiger episodes. Maybe they can adapt the uh, Gokaiger time travel episode involving Time Ranger because that was really fun. Yeah, <laughs> they wouldn't be able to do that one. I mean, sure they would. They just have to. They just have to cut out all the parts that that involve the uh, the movie, uh, the part of the movie. <laughs> Leave time, leave time Force alone. It was one of the more perfect seasons. Time Force was really good. It, it was. 
so good. I love brands like, and like you know, like as far as rede- redemption go, like it began his redemption arc at the finale and it completed it in Wild Force. Okay. Rancic as a character, and I will stand by this, had uh, arguably one of the best arcs like of a character ever. Hmm. His story of like being the the human, uh, he was a normal human criminal, got turned into a mutant out of happenstance, was shunned because of that, and was like, well, fuck you guys, I'm just gonna, you know, commit these crimes out of, you know, out of, you know, out of revenge. Uh, was, yeah. And, and Thrax was a tragic character. Yeah. And like then... He, he, he extended his hand towards Ransack, and he and Ransack fucked him over, and that's why he went all, all veggie. Yeah. And uh, as in until the end, when, uh, when uh, Thrax... If I remember correctly, because didn't Thrax didn't it come full circle and Thrax betrayed Rancic, yeah. and that's what man Rancic made Rancic realize. Oh shit! I created a monster. I need to stop this. Yes, that yeah, more or less. And I I do also like the uh, the thing with Wes's dad where he he creates like he because of the Time Rangers interference gets like a soup like a super cure for a bunch of shit. Starts mass producing it and selling it, and then he's like, "Okay, see if I knew it was gonna affect or was gonna help you, I would have just dumped all that shit in the drain." That was yeah. my favorite character. That was one of my favorite character for him. He's like, "Look, I'm wait. I'm actively helping the villain. What the fuck am I, was was wrong with me?" Yeah, and it's like, but no, like he realizes that he fucked up helps the rangers take down Thrax, and then surrenders because he knows it's the right thing to do. And then you skip ahead to Wild Force with the Mutorgs, and he realizes that this is another mess that he created. And so he's finally like, you know, well, I guess I gotta undo another one of my messes, and in doing so, he effectively got his humanity back. Yeah. Galaxy through through Wild Force, I will say, are equal are equally as enjoyable as their Sentai counterparts. Yeah. Not only really that, but I... Honestly, like, I think the Lightspeed Rescue ver- or, through Meg- or through Wild Force might be the strongest in terms of, like, original stories for each of the teams. Oh, yeah. Because, like, that was when you hit the whole post Sword on era. The original, like, the main series, the main storyline of Power Rangers at that point had been basically completed. And you're at this post Sword on era where you switch over to, okay, this whole story arc is done. Now we go back to writing single story arcs for each season. But this is where the, we had the team up episodes. And this is honestly, in my personal opinion, where the team up, team up episodes were the, were probably the strongest, at least consistently, in the series, because Ninja Storm didn't have a team-up episode. Dino Thunder had the team-up episode with Ninja Storm, and it was kind of, eh. Yeah. Oh, I, I kind of like that. SPD like has that team two team-ups. SPD's team-up with Dino Thunder was amazing, and they Both did it twice. Were. Yeah, they Both did of twice. them were. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. okay, so first, the first one is going to the future, second one is going to the past. Both of them are awesome. Yeah. For different reasons. Yeah. And I, I, it was like, so like, okay, Galaxy's crossover with in space with the Psycho Rangers. Amazing. That's a big way to kick off the crossover episode story story things where you're like, where, where you're like, okay, <laughs> here's these big bads that, yes, they had a big role in in space, but now they have an even bigger role in Lost Galaxy. And one of them kills a fucking Power Ranger. Well, doesn't kill a Power Ranger, but a Power Ranger sacrifices themselves to kill one of them. And there's an actual reason behind that because Valerie Vernon, the actor yeah. for uh, yeah. the actor for um, yeah, yeah she had, for Kendricks had leukemia. Yeah, which you know and I she... identify with that because I also had leukemia as a kid. For those that didn't know that about me, and then well, she I actually came didn't back. know that about you. 
Yeah. So there you go. And then, of course, Kendricks came back at the end of Lost Galaxy, and yeah. she was in the Lightspeed Lost Galaxy crossover, which, again, was an amazing crossover. Oh, yeah. The Lightspeed... Uh, the, this is what I loved about the light, the Lost Galaxy Lightspeed crossover, because it brings back Trakina, which is funny, because when you think about the finale of Lost Galaxy... You should have been dead. Leo literally point blank Trakina blew her the fuck up and she lived. Ah, it's Power Rangers. Never, no, one's, no one stays dead in Power Rangers. It's too kid friendly. Unless it's the comic books. For anyone joining the stream, uh, just like that, we're just, just waiting on our third player, Cryptic, to uh, get to their computer. They haven't long finished um, work. That's on my fault. I went live half an hour early. So we're just talking crap until it turns out. Uh, if you can't already notice, uh, we're on a battle map. This is uh, where we're going to start off the episode. This is, again, last episode, we ended on the fact that the space station that everyone was on was invaded by the forces of the U... A Is it the U... Yeah, the UAE. The United Alliance of Evil. Yes. That, that is something I have stolen from the TV shows, but it, it, I believe it's what it's also called in the comic books. I don't think they've... It just referred to them as Dark Spectre's forces in the comic book moment. I think it's yeah, United Alliance, Alliance of Evil, but it's yeah. also I realized after we ended the session. Wow, I hope no one from or from uh, like Saudi Arabia catches this. They'll be like, "What? They're attacking the UAE? They're attacking? They're attacking us? What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah, the United <laughs> Arab Emirates. Yeah, you could also call them just the Alliance of Evil or AOE. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alliance Don't evil. worry, we, we are not going to attack UAE. We love football. Yep. The United Alliance of Evil is what it's called, but I will refer to them as Dark Spectre's Forces, because I did catch that, and I was like, oh, I'm going to refrain from doing it. Yeah. Like, afterwards, I was like, yeah, that that's, uh, that might be problematic. <laughs> Just a little bit. But no, getting back to the whole Lost Galaxy thing, like, I actually believe that Trakina is an underrated villain. Oh, yeah, she uh, is. Like, like she, she didn't want to be a villain in the first place, but, but, then, but then, like, but once her dad dies, she she commits to it. Yeah. Her, they, you know, I, the, what was it, Leo? Killed, uh, Leo killed her father. I don't remember his name in the, in the TV show. Scorpius. But Scorpius. Scorpius or whatever. Leo kills him, and then she's like, well, shit, I guess now I have to do this. And then I forget the dude that she has, like, trained her, like, in the desert or whatever. I mean, and it's just Tetra. like... Space Clint, Clint Eastwood or whatever the f Yeah. His name is, his name is Tetra, or, uh, Tetron, if I remember yeah. correctly. No, oh, Treacheron yeah, like, Treach was the guy with the hand blast. Wait, um, one second. I... Who was the dude that she fused? Who was the dude that she fused with at like the end of towards the end of the show? Was think, that Tetron? I think that's Treacheron. Yeah, that is Tetron. Yeah, like, yeah. one second. I had to actually look this up now. I just love the fact that it was like <gasps> Treacheron, like with a name like Treacheron, like he could betray everybody. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't Leo only get to Scorpius because one of the uh, yeah one of the generals betrayed him? Yeah, Treacheron. <laughs> he wanted to go into the he wanted he wanted to be the one to go into the cocoon, and it's just like uh. Ugh. And Bro then Robo they Bug. Got... Just ended up being Trakina and Treacheron going into the. Uh... And that weird latex suit. So That's right, it was Deviat. Deviat was the one that, that Deviot, trained her. Yeah. So so when a, so when so when a robot and a bug fuse, does that mean that they're not or not bionic, not organic, but a cyborg? More like a cyborg. Hmm. Psychotron. Mm 
Wait, no, uh, Deviat was the one that that fused with uh, Drakina. Yeah. Deviat. Oh, no, it wasn't Treacherous. It was Treacherous. Treacherous and... Treacherous was just one of the generals. Oh, okay. I'm looking at the wiki right now. I'm like, okay, who was it? Oh, yeah. Or was it... Yeah, it was uh, Villamax was the one that trained that trained yeah. her. That uh honestly I'd say like I, I think the the light speed time force crossover was the worst because like it's like, oh hey, if I press back from the dead. Eh. Okay, the the battleizer for for time for Wes is battleizer. Is that crazy? Just to, like oh, I guess he's a knight now. Yeah. So I know Thunder had arguably the be best uh, battleizer and sequence. Honestly, like in terms of battleizers, I think my favorites are either SPD or uh, Ninja Storm. Because they had. Like there were two forms on each of them. It's like they had the they had the one that's like, hey, okay, okay, it's a power up, but it's not like overly done. And then they had the comically, hey, this is the toy version of it, the overly done one. There you go. OT makes them a beautiful. And when everyone would get super forms and get away with the battle eyes, there much, you know what? Easy come, easy go. And it, it makes everyone, uh, makes, makes Ooh. Robot. Robot cryptic. Uh, I, again, I apologize, everyone, for the, uh, uh, the, the late start. Uh, it is, it is my bad. Yeah. I started a bit too early. Uh, honestly, I actually think the best battleizer in the series is, I, ironically enough, I think it's Samurai's, because, like, literally everybody ends up using it. Oh, yeah, the, uh... It's not really a battleizer. The, it's just a power-up. Unless, unless you yeah. count the one well, that's in the Megazord. Well, you had the, uh, you had the Super Samurai mode, which was the fucking cape. And then you had the uh, the other Super Samurai mode when they get the fucking fish sword. And then you have the Shogun power-up, which I think is just absolutely stupid. Yeah, the Shogun power-up while they're in the... Like, the, the change while they were in the Zords was dumb. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, they could have just done it the way they did in Shinkenjo, but... Eh. Yeah. I don't know whether to stop, put the stream down and then put the stream back up. Uh, so they won't have I think this. I think he's almost home by, at this point, so we should be okay. Yeah. I'm literally, I, I'm, I'm literally around the corner. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Like forty minutes of math. Like I think, I think Samurai could have been good if it wasn't for the fact. At least this is my personal opinion. It wasn't for the fact that I saw Shin Kenjir before I watched Power Ranger Samurai. So, at the fact I that have... Samurai was, like, almost one-to-one -one from the Shinkenjo plot, I'm like, oh, well, I'm just watching what I, stuff that I already know is the plot, so it kind of ruined it for me. Yeah, I've kind of ruined all the Power Rangers seasons past uh, Jungle Fury by doing my uh, Sentai watch-throughs. Yeah. And, I mean, and Shinkenjo was really good. To be fair, I think it's still one of my favorite like Sentai seasons to date. It was so good. But I I do have a lot of good things to say about Samurai and like Shinkendra in general, and the fact that like despite I mean Xandron wasn't portrayed as well in Samurai as he was in Shinkendra, but he's still like one of the villains that at the end of the day got what he wanted. He flooded the earth with the Sanzu River and the Power Rangers essentially and like you see like hey the ceiling symbol didn't work so they just had to beat him the hard way. But it worked until it didn't. Yeah. But 
And and that's kind of when you realize, like, you know, Lauren, A.K. Karu Shiba, like, her whole purpose was to train in secret to get the ceiling symbol and use it against Okoku if he ever came back. And he comes back, and they use the ceiling symbol, and it doesn't work. So she's like, fuck. My entire purpose is just ruined, and now everybody else is like, well, I guess we're doing this, I guess we're doing this the, 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 the usual way. We're just gonna blow them the fuck up. <laughs> Do it the fun way. We we'll right back. I'm gonna go get some real quick. <laughs> All right, that is home. Now it is time to switch to computer. Yeah. So. Hi, Katie. I actually really like the dialogues, like as a villain. I don't remember what they were called in the in Shin Kenshin, but they were actually really nice as like a villain race because like they did have a sense of like a fear factor to it, especially in Shin Kenshin. Uh, there we go. I had to get some water. Awesome. I'm just about to get into it, folks. Again, I do apologize. There we go. There we are. Awesome. That beautiful, beautiful ranger design. Yeah. yeah. And by my friend Dynamo Tom. Go check them out on their Twitter. Uh, for slash Dynamo Tom, literally, you can see him there. Edge. There we go. All right. Done the recap. We've done the introductions. Are we ready? I am ready. Awesome. Well, we're about to get in to. Power Rangers Cyber Strike Episode 1, Go Go Cyber Strike. Hope you can all hear this music. Hold on, let me uh, switch. Why is it always Let's do that? Go to settings. Is this a. Uh... Sound. Let's uh, have that go to my headphones and not through my computer stereo. <laughs> I'm gonna need you all to roll initiative. Aha! Yes. 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 Oh no! The scariest word. The the scariest words in all D in all D and D, except for roll four D six. For the putties, and assuming that initiative works like it does for uh, it's like every other dice roll, basically. You have to, you have to do all that, uh, like yeah. all the buffs and all that. So I got a 17. Uh, well, I don't know why you didn't appear in the turn order. Here, yeah, let me roll it again. And just... you gotta click your token. I forgot to have it. So that one was a two instead. Uh, but... No, you can put yourself in as a 17. No. 24. Jesus. That God is damn. a 20 on initiative. You're thinking, not supposed to get those on all off all early. It never works on roll 20. <laughs> no, that, like that, I, I rolled as good as I was <laughs> ever <laughs> going to. rolled four. <laughs> So collectively, the putties will uh, all be going at a four. Gotta ungroup them, because that seemed it didn't work. So again, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to bear with me here as I add them to the the initiative order.
Oh boy, and now we get to learn about combat in this game. Oh, that's loud. Combat is 156 in the book. Yeah. But all of them. Yep, that's all of them. Oh, 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 oh. Arrow, you go to the top. Over, you go above that. Uh, we are now do uh, the Mongo Putty. Or the cha oh, Putty Changeling, sorry. You were all his initiative. Submit, 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 submit. So the type of action you can do on your turn det is determined by your speed modifier. I don't know, lie. These putties got shit initiatives. Holy crap. <laughs> Actually, the Mondo going first kind of makes sense because it could be like, okay, attack. Yeah. So I, I've got to do, I've got to do these guys next. So if you have a speed of one, you can choose to, you, can, you only have the, the choice. You can either move or uh, trade your move action or a standard action, which is probably like a regular like attack action or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have a speed of two, you can do both. You can move and take a standard action. Yeah, if I you have a to. speed of three or higher, you can move, take a standard action, and you also get a free action. Check. Oh. I need controller. I just got to get the character sheets up on my other screen. This is a lot. <laughs> Okay. Object interaction is a free action. And now it's time to do these guys. Fortunately, I don't have a I don't have a thing for, for Professor Daxian. I don't have a street, so he's going to use the same initiative as the emergence uh, thing guys. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, free actions include opening, closing objects, containers, doors, reloading, uh, putting weapons slash items away, uh, inputting a passcode, uh, uh, freeing oh, prisoners, got an 11. uh, consuming nutrition, uh, Finding item a specific item in a backpack slash container, uh, using a musical instrument briefly, uh, joining oh, yeah. two combinable technological components, uh, or picking up a five foot squares worth or picking up a five foot squares worth of objects. GM has the final say as to whether certain activities uh, count as a free action or whatever. Is there an easier way to do this? Probably, I don't. Your movement can include any type of locomotion you are capable of, jumping, climbing, flying, etc. These can combine with your normal ground movement, or they can be your entire turn's move. Uh, when you move, however, you subtract the amount of your move from your current movement until you can no longer or move, or until you decide to be done moving. Uh, special types, blah, blah. During your move, you can choose to perform a standard action and or free action at any time while moving. This means you can use any amount of your movement before and after your actions. For example, if you have a ground move of 30 feet, you can leap 20 feet, take a standard action, move five more feet, take free action, and then continue moving another five feet. So you can split your movement up between actions. Okay. I think that's everyone. Jesus Christ. 
Awesome. Okay, so as a civilian, Professor Daxian doesn't really have any combat capabilities. Oh, I fucked that up. I still clicked the, well, arrow. Uh, I clicked the arrow when I said, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take and use the uh, sprint action to move over here. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Awesome. Nova, it's your turn. The, the, I, I forgot about if we, if we had them last week. Do we have guns yet and all that? Only Marika has a weapon. Here. Yeah. As is standard, right. you two are civilians. He's just gonna look at the dad, the professor. Professor, stay with me. Captain, cover us. Yep, she'll uh, take no, take a nod. That's my plan the Good. entire time. Gonna basically like go right here. Or actually, right here and assume that he's following us so he'll be like right here at, or right here afterward yeah well it will be his turn yes okay uh, apparently there's a contingency action which is basically like holding your turn until like a certain thing happens yeah yeah are you yeah that what you're wanting to do? Uh, no. Is it my turn? Yes, it is your turn. Okay, yeah, I'm just reading through the different actions here in the book. Probably open up. Okay. I think I know what I'm doing here. Uh, so... Hmm. Let me get the measurement tool here. Oh, I'm back. She'll get right here. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and take the, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and take the, uh, um, contingency action. So if one of these parties tries to make their way towards us, I will shoot. Okay. Cool. It is now Professor Daxian's turn. And he is going to use his 30 feet of movement. Sorry, he's useless. <laughs> to get just behind Marika. That is to. They have weapons on the end of their arms. They're called fists, indeed. <laughs> uh, that's his turn. Okay, we come to the first. Emogen. Well, sorry, I like that. The first security detail guy. Uh, he has a movement of three, uh, 30. What he's going to do is he is going to pretty much stay where he is, but he's going to take a shot at. Uh, this guy. I have so many pop ups. Okay, regular party patrol. What is your Okay, so this is gonna be his targeting gonna take a shot handgun using especially well he doesn't have a specialization because again he's a grunt skill shift this is going to be a difficulty 10 ha 
Well, that's a failure. Uh, it, yeah, no, that's a failure. Buddy Patroller avoids it. And that's his turn done. This guy. George, why, why we hire? Why we hire stormtroopers? <laughs> you didn't hire them. This is what they are. Um, this guy is going to move to the door and end his turn. This soldier is also going to try and shoot. Uh, this putty. Ah, this one's a success. Yep, he beats the putty's evasion by one. Uh, I will now roll that one in a skill. One energy damage. As this soldier fires his blaster, I know it says handgun, but it is blaster, just like that. You see this putty here just fall to the ground, start glowing this weird white grayscale color. And then he just kind of breaks into little pieces. Now I need to find him on in order. He's dead. Uh, and upon seeing that, all the other soldiers are like, oh, wow. Uh, that was a thing that happened. Uh, he's going to end his turn there. This soldier up here in the room is also going to just move to the door. It's his turn. This soldier, upon seeing the other one, uh, one of his allies... Uh, game, uh, destroy one of the parties. He's going to charge using his 30 feet of moves. Uh, well, say 30 feet. He's going to move right next to this putty. Try and engage him in martial combat. As a might of. Oh, I think I fucked up that last one. It's okay. No, I understand now. I should have done that. I'm learning! <laughs> that should have been... Yeah, okay. Right. I know where to click to do damage now. I thought it was just one energy damage straight away, but it's not. Uh, I'm learning as well as they, as everyone else. I do apologize. Uh, this soldier is going to try and attack the putty head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Uh, yes. <laughs> Unarmed combat. Do you have a specialization? Uh, no, it's not. I'm trained in basic combat. Nope. No specialization. No skill shift. Uh, I'm going to say this is a difficulty 10. Well, no snag. Oh, wow! <laughs> uh, let's just roll that damage. Why is it saying difficulty 10 for... Like, the difficulty you can change it, like, when you roll it. Uh, make that zero. So damage i guess and, te and technically the attack is based on the defense score of the enemy right okay toughness 13 on a party controller but but it doesn't really matter though he got an 18 or a natural 18 so he he hit him nonetheless yeah i just want to know oh no it says there one blunt damage what am i on about so what's that for I guess that's just skills, might and targeting. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, I guess it just it, it encompasses it all when you do that. Fair, good to know. 
Uh, yeah, so this guard runs up and just absolutely annihilates uh <laughs> yes i am a neural now i'm trying not to pay too much attention to the chat but again i'm learning this is the first time i'm, I'm running this battle system so. so again he runs up to this party and just like strikes they get into like a little bit of a scuffle but then he hits it to the ground with like the butt of his handgun and just again you see this this glowing uh grayish hue and then he just again he just kind of explodes into little pieces and they they vanish kind of like into a little dust and he is gone now we now move on to next move guy this guy is going to also run headlong uh, but he can only go here. I believe he can also take a shot now, right? I'm reading this correctly. Uh, what is his speed? Well, the ground movement is 30 feet. Asian 12. I don't have speed. Huh. I am going to say that he can there you go. take a shot, and he's going to try and take. He's going to take a shot. Range thirty feet. Anyone that's in thirty feet. Yeah, he's going to take a shot at uh, this guy. Do -do -do -do. There's a specialization targeting. I don't know. He's just a grunt. Who cares? That's a bit. Difficulty 10. A snack. Jesus Christ! <laughs> nice. I'm okay with this. Uh, yeah, again. Seeing this, the party blows up. Uh, he makes incoherent sounds and just gone. Yeah. And then, of course, there's this guy here who's just going to take... He's just going to stay in there. He's not, he's not going to do anything for his turn. Okay, we move on now. It is now the turn of the rather big-looking double-headed buddy. Uh, and he... It, everyone. Big Pudgus. Big Pudgus. He's going to run at this guy. And he is going to uh, do what all puppies do, and he is going to whack a fool. So he's going to use his unarmed combat. His oh, hands... be brave. Yeah. Difficulty 10. Oh, wow. Okay. So he doesn't do anything against uh, uh, the toughness of the security personnel because. Oh, it. it... He needed a 13 to hit. He did not hit with a 13. I, I was just imagining that, that the guy sees them charging at him and like he just flinches and somehow that flinch <laughs> is able to dodge it. Yep, yeah, four is like that. He's whiffed it. Um, and that is the change, the party, the, the main party's turn. Now move on to the sky, who will move forward, and he's going to take a shot at this poor bugger. Now you see where the putties get their strength from. 
And I'm combat. Change. This is going to be a difficulty 10. Uh, he does. Wait. Unarmed combat. Might plus D4. Well, the thing is, he beats the evasion, but not the toughness. What do I base that on? Wonder. I get the feeling I'm not doing combat right here. I think certain types of attacks are based in different uh, defenses. Defenses. So, like when you shoot at somebody, it's 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 uh, targeting versus evasion. But when you're do using martial arts, it's might versus toughness, essentially. Oh well, this guy does not. Oh, oh excuse me. Sorry. If I sneeze a lot, sorry. My hay fever is acting up. Uh, yeah, well... <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, this guy, again, though he's getting swarmed, he does not take any damage. Yeah. We now move on to the other party's turns. Oh. Learning. Uh, these other parties are going to... Again, they're going to swarm. They basically swarm the nearest target. So this guy is going to move just behind the big guy. This guy uh, here going to oh, it's not his turn. It's the other one's turn. Can only to a square away from him. This guy's gonna rush here. That's his turn because you can't really do anything. This guy is going to rush here and take a shot. Not a shot of alcohol. <laughs> Damn it. That, that go, there goes my theory. This will be Start a difficulty up. 10. Okay, this time he does hit him. Just just runs up to the guy, pulls out pulls out a flask, pours <laughs> a shot, downs it, and then just punches him. Pull one out for my homies. <laughs> so this guy is one blunt damage. The unarmed combat, of course, because you know putties have those big ball hats. Uh, the security personnel takes the shot and he, uh, there's like this, he gets like hit across the face like that and the putty doesn't stop. He just kind of hits him down and sadly, you don't see any movement from this guy. Oh. But rather than disappearing, um, he's just left there on the floor. Oh, I need to find him in the addition of all. He's gone. He got one punched. Uh, more or less. And it is... We are now back to Arrow. What do you do? All right, I'm assuming that uh, this is open. Uh, it, There is a door, but it's not like locked or anything. Okay. Because at the moment you're on a gantry looking down into the place. This is just going to like, this goes into the room basically. All right, I will uh, use uh, free action to open the door. Yep. And I will uh, take up what, and I will charge into the room. Uh, as no you time to yeah, as you do that, they kind of look around and, like, train their handguns on you. 
the blast is on you. Uh, is that all you're doing for this turn? No time to explain. It's... We've got putties. We've got enemies to kill. It's Morphin time! As I grab... Um, no. Not yet. No. Not yet. No. Not yet. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, you're jumping the gun there, buddy. I'll let you know Rewind. when you can do that. <laughs> ah. Those are, if you're wondering what those are on the desk, that they're just magazines. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. There is a pistol there, though. There is a, there is a blaster there. Well, there is a blaster. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Professor, uh, again, like da Professor Daxian said uh, in the uh, in the last episode, um, he was sent the final sequencing codes he needed from Ebnoi before the attack started. So, is is, uh, is that all you're doing? Uh, it's cool. It's cool. I'm. Uh... I'm Arrow. I'm with uh, what is uh, America's uh... captain? I'm I'm yeah. with uh, Captain Marika. They kind of look at you. One of them looks up the thing. They can vaguely see the captain up there, and they just kind of nod. Like there's like no time. They're just again standing guard at this uh, place, just in case because they're defending what's inside this room. I'm gonna move the turnover over here so it's not way of the map uh okay is that all you do that i've used my action and my free action unless i want to use a, a stand use my uh sprint action to uh reach for the gun really up to you yeah i'll uh grab the i'll grab the pistol it'll get it'll be something to uh hand over to the dock uh, okay, so if you've got that, uh, I believe I sent on me this. Yeah, I've I've got it. If you could you add. No, sorry, I'll just post it in the chat in the Discord. Okay. You could add that to your weapons, uh, cryptic. Post thank you, Discord. Handgun targeting D4. Yeah, and I'm not okay. quite sure how it how it works, but there's no handout for that, so I copied it off the um, the security guys. Why well, I like roll twenty? It just has everything in a nice little bowl for you to do the rollings. I hope I'm doing combat right. I think maybe it's because the party patrollers are literally they have one health. As do these security tech guys. For anyone interested, the music playing is from the original MMPR soundtrack. Uh, this one, this one's called Five Four One. All the Five Four One, Ron Rasterman's coolest backing track. Yeah. Uh, is that what you're doing? Uh, yeah, yeah that is my turn. Yeah, this, the tech guys, the security guys see you do it, like the soldiers, they see you grab it, but they're just like, oh, we're not gonna complain, more guns means more chance of survival, whatever this is. Uh, Arrow, sorry, Nova, it is now your turn. Nova is going to... Take a, a brief look at the, at the professor and captain and be like, yeah, got him focused, got him focused. Run inside, see these three standing there. The hell are you doing? Get out there! We have bunnies on our ass! Got it? Yep. I kind of like look at you as if to say, like, yeah, no, we're doing our job. Believe me, if they get in here, then then we're in trouble. You're in trouble now if you don't get the fuck out of there. 
<laughs> You're in a more confined space. How the fuck do you not real? Oh my god, you call yourself soldiers. Uh, is that is that Nov's turn? Yeah, like he is basically like shit talking these guys for like. No, we're in here. Why? Uh, you're not you're not cleared. You, you don't have the clearance. Uh, Marika, it's your turn. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I had two things but that I wanted to debate on, but I think I know what I do plan on doing here. I will say um, this gantry is like 10 feet up. Yeah, max. Okay. Um, well, I couldn't get there regularly. Uh... You know what? I think this is where I can get with the regular movement. Uh, and I'm going to look at the professor and say, Get in there. I'll cover you. And, uh... This guy right here is a little swarmed. So I'm going to take a shot at Putty Boy. Right here. Uh, sure. Roll your handgun. Oh, wait. Do you have a specialization in that as well? I do not. Okay. Well, it doesn't I don't, matter. I don't think I do anyway. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter because... Uh... 19 damage. Yeah, you. As this part, he's like wailing on the guy. Uh, your blaster takes a shot, just kind of like hits the party, falls on the floor, and uh, just totally obliterates him. Uh, this party is now no longer. Yeah, and that grayish hue, and then he just kind of explodes, leaving little bits of dust, clay dust on the floor. Upon seeing that the mm -hmm. tech guys on the floor see you up top. And they're kind of like, oh, cool, the captain's here. Yeah, she'll, she'll kind of like, it, the door is open, right? I could probably like yell in there and they would hear me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah she'll that. just she'll just yell in there. The civilians are with me. Keep them protected. The, do the professor is coming in. Uh, and upon saying that, uh guys inside the room uh and they, they like the, again they just kind of look at the you uh you arrow and over and like well okay if they're with the captain for whatever reason and the professor now we're definitely not leaving the room because you are now the ips congratulations yep uh is that your turn oh. zombie yep that's my turn let's say above game like not like hearing that is not happy about me or about them being told not to leave the room, but he's not gonna say anything until he gets in there. Uh, we come to the professor who can only move thirty feet again as goes there. Sorry, I'm just playing him as a civilian. I don't again. I don't have a. I don't have a uh, character sheet for him, so I'm treating him like one of the security guys. He is he is this humble NPC man. Yeah. I believe that there, there is something about NPCs in the combat section, if I'm correct. So yeah, that's that's all the action. Nice. Okey 
We don't we don't have the cool shit yet. Well, Cryptid just got the cool shit, but Uh Yeah, no, I'm just looking at the other stuff that you can I feel like we're doing this correctly. I don't see anything different from when I've seen um, probate and that do it, so... I don't know. Yeah, we should be fine. That's for Zord battles, we're not getting in there. Situation modifiers. That's me deciding on what's going to be or not. First time defense, all that. Little bit toughness, evasion, little bit of heaviness, and that's okay. Anything about the civilians and stuff, or won't really have to. Do that. I'm just gonna treat all civilians now until otherwise uh, as having 30 movement speed and not much else. I probably okay. just I'd probably just use the base stats of the tech guys for the civilians for now. But yeah, that's the professor's turn. Uh, this gentleman down here, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna take a shot at this putty. That's the correct one. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, he's gonna take a shot. Beat. 12 evasion or we'll change uh, because he's quite far away though although it is no he's directly 30 feet I'm gonna say no I'm gonna say it's difficulty 10 no snag Ooh, beats it by two yeah 30 feet uh, this party here gets hit by the blast and falls down no longer no longer a thing. Oh, Crum he crumbled. He crumbles, yep. This guy again. Well, we're gonna move now on to... Uh, the guys... Again, the guys in the room, they aren't gonna do much. Uh, this guy is going to run... closer to the action. Six. And he's going... He's going to take a shot at this guy. Oh, a pot Again. A little bit more invigorated upon seeing one of their allies fall to the ground. Yeah. Uh, this guy, again. Hey, that, they're not called clay brains for nothing. Falls down like that. Now there's a huge set, like, sense of like, ah, we can actually win this. You know, blah blah blah. Uh, that's his turn again. The guy in the room, not going to do anything. This guy out here, looking at this fool. Uh, he's going to take. A swing at him. He's right in range. He needs to. Be. He needs to be thirteen. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, he does not. He takes a swing at the two-headed uh, bay golem. And just the, go the golem kind of like looks at him as if to say, just doesn't react. And that's his turn pretty much done with. Oh, buddy. He just warbles there menacingly. Uh, he's warbling. Oh god, he's the he's he's the three season three buddies. They're doing all those weird interpretive dances. Yeah. Uh, this <laughs> guy here, um, upon learning that the professor is on his way in, he's going to move to this middle console here. Oh wait, no, he can't move to the table. Um, they're trying. He's gonna start making his way over. What, what if he just uh, do some hazards uh, across the table? Uh, I, I mean, he could, but that's just not. Be cryptic. You're, thi yeah, you're thinking of that. him as a player. You're not thinking of him as an NPC. Sure. So you can't do that cool thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can be able to get there. He's just, yeah, he's just within arm's reach of it. He, like, he, as he gets to it, he kind of just goes, kind of, like, uh, presses on the, um, yeah, the console, and it comes up, and, uh, it's, it's, like, all sorts of information starts see, uh, going across the screen and whatnot. That's his turn done. You now move to Big Pungus we've called him <laughs> and big pungus is going to hit the guy that just tried hitting him uh be brave well he needs clear 13 and it's nothing again <laughs> uh like, he takes a swing and the guy just, he kind of takes it on the chest. Uh, but he's not knocked to the floor. He's just kind of winded and he's like, oh, <laughs> ow, that hurt. That really like, hurt. His arms are so lopsided, he doesn't know how to use them. Yeah, I've removed the putty from the situation here. I've deleted one too many putties. Uh, so this putty is going to run and join up with his friends. And this party now going to move one step forward. He's going to attack the guy again. This poor security guard. I mean, parties swarm. That's what they do. This party, however, does manage to connect. And as the the bigger changing party hits this uh, this soldier in the gut and then pines down, the second party comes up and cracks his giant uh, mace-like hand over the head of this poor soldier, and he too goes to the uh, falls to the floor, motionless. He is now out of the turn order. And we come back round to Arrow. At this point, there's not much that Arrow can do. Oh, I've not been using the parties to their full advantage. I apologize. They should get an edge on their attacks if they're surrounded by other parties. We live and we learn. I will, learn. I will keep that for next time. They don't get to experience the benefits of a murder sandwich. Uh, not yet. Well, I, I don't like the fucking. It's not like they've needed it. 
I'm fine with uh, with not doing anything on my turn. Uh, okay, cool. If you just want to skip. Mm-hmm. Nova? Uh, part of me wants to ask, ask Arrow for the gun, but also, like, should I actually try to leave, or else will these guys try to stop me? You know, I'm going to do that. Uh, uh, Nova's going to be like, Arrow! If you're not gonna use that gun, I could I could get a couple shots out. All right, Arrow will uh, will instead move over and hand the gun over. I yeah, will allow that, it. even though it's not your turn. I'll allow it. I mean, you could just throw the gun to him. Um. Is the safety on? <laughs> <laughs> it's best know. that we... Slide across the floor, it hits the chair leg and goes off and goes to the other wall. <laughs> I will allow, I will allow, for the sake of the story, I will allow you to throw it to Nova. I will, I will call that a free action for now. I don't want to throw the gun. <laughs> I mean, you don't Wait, we're it. not like overhanding, we're just granny tossing it. <laughs> Arrow takes a pitcher's pose. <laughs> Batter up! Burp balls that motherfucker! Okay. <laughs> just, fucking, just fucking throw it like a boomerang. Okay, but this. Uh, okay, here we yeah! Hopefully it's not loaded! Does he move back there? He needs to get back there. Arrow says, hopefully it's not loaded. The guards just look at him. Maybe. Um... Or hopefully the safety's on! Like I said, free action. Don't need to roll yeah. anything for that. Just, just that. Uh, Nova, completely up to you what you will do next. So Nova has the gun now. Yeah. He is going to run outside. That's up. Yeah. So you're going back up on the gantry, right? Yeah, I'm trying to see like how far I need to get to actually get into range. So uh, the hand gun doing? has a it's th it's thirty feet. So wait, we're going ten feet up. Uh, from the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so he's okay. he's gonna come right right here behind behind the captain, so he can aim at this guy. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, if you just wanna, and... you've got if you've added it to your weapons list, just. What's the difficulty? Um, I'm gonna say yours is going to have to be a 15 because you're not trained. You're gonna have to beat. You're gonna have to beat 11 evasion. All right, well. I got an 8, so that's a no. Yeah, so you take a shot and you just kind of whiff. And upon that shot whiffing, the putties down there now turn and look at the gantry. They've now finally noticed you. Uh, is that all you do for your turn? What? Oh, I'm sword guy. <laughs> right. All right, it's my turn. Uh, Captain Hammond, it's your turn. All right, Captain's gonna five ten. Immediately look at Nova. What the hell are you doing? What your what your troops aren't. She just scowls. Protect the professor, and I am going to shoot at Big Punkus. Uh, take a shot. I 
I love that name has stuck. Fungus. Whoa, the, the shot. Yes. And the damage. The damage you do is one energy damage. That's enough to take out. So you take the shot and it kind of hits him. And as you do, he kind of like splits down the middle and... Uh, Big Pungus uh, turns to clay dust. Oh, we got rid of the big one. I'm gonna be honest, he's not much better than a standard putty. It's just he, he just has an ability to do things. I'm not gonna spoil that. So yeah, so you take a shot. But no, he's not no. bigger, or he's he doesn't look, or he just looks cooler. I don't know why I've got, like, there's only one putty on the turn order here, so I'm just gonna... I can add these guys back in. <laughs> Get ass, bitch. No, this is, we took out the big one, Marika, under her breath in Japanese. No thanks to you. A bit harsh, is that your turn? Uh... It was only 10 feet of move. Can I say something in a free action? Like... <laughs> Remember, sure. I specifically said in Japanese, so I don't know if you understand it or not. Yeah. I'm gonna say no, considering Nova is... Uh... Oh, well, I don't know. What planet is Marika from if she knows Japanese? I mean, her... I The way that I've said it is that she, like, her descendants... I, I'm assuming that, like, her descendants are... The way that I've set it up is, like, her descendants are, like, from Earth and from Japan. So, like, okay. she's... She's... Effectively, she would be, like, Japanese-American. Okay, but uh, in like, space. We're gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with uh, Mystic Space Bullshit. Uh, pulls yeah. your parents from Earth. We're gonna go with that. Yeah. Cool. Like I said, military, so... Probably her... Her... Grandparents or great-grandparents -par were military and came to space because of it. Uh, I can say Nasada sent a secret service yeah. up or something like that. We'll, we, we'll, work with so, it. we'll work with it. Yeah, something like that. Uh, Is that your turn? Yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just sit. It is the professor's turn and the professor uh, screaming out to himself, uh, not to himself so much, but to Ten feet down, so that makes sense. I love it when that works out. Three, four, five, six. He's in the room and he starts. Um, as he enters the room, he, he yells out, "Or oh, he's he's like, start the sequence!" And as he does, he kind of like. Uh, pushes this chair away and pulls out a key from like around his like a, like uh, uh, around from his neck and then he lifts up a panel on the floor uh, Arrow you can see him do this quite like because he's doing it right next to you basically uh, but that will be his turn he's doing story fluff more or less again doesn't need to roll anything are we come to Guy's outside, and he's going to move. Stand next to his buddy. As these, uh, as these three are distracted from the shots that have come from the gantry, uh, he's going to take a shot, and he's going to actually get an advantage on them. So he's going to shoot the nearest putty. Not using a specialization. Uh, no skill shift, but it's going to be a difficulty five because they're distracted. And I'm going to say he's going to do it with Edge. And as this putty is looking at you up on the gantry, he gets blasted in the back with an energy blast. And is turned to clay dust. Uh, upon the 
uh, professor getting in the room. This guy is going to use her free action to open the door. Stand outside. Just outside it. Um, that's all he's going to do. Uh, this guy is going to take a shot. No specialization, no skill shift, difficulty five again because they're distracted. Remember, this is all happening in the same moment as his battle. He's going to do it with an edge and he's going to turn this guy into clay dust. Uh... <laughs> This guy, who's in here, is also going to move just outside the door. Take start of the situation. Uh, it's end his turn. And this individual is going to then uh, make his way six towards the door after leaving the PC or the control console over there. Do its thing. Um... That's it. We now move to the, the one lone putty that is left. Um, and he kind of looks around. And he's taking stock of everything. If he if he had a a if he was a Zed putty, he'd look left, look right, then just punch the symbol. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's not how this goes, unfortunately. Um, he's going to actually. Uh, uh, sorry. He's going to run underneath the gantry towards uh this side of the uh of the. I've forgotten the word. Where where are we? We're in a hangar. This side of the hangar. And. That's his... That's his turn. Yeah, I'm going to say that's his turn. Arrow, it's your turn. Alright, I am observing uh, the professor uh, doing the Morphe Doodles. <laughs> Is that all you want to do? Uh, what else can I do? I don't have any, any fun stuff at the moment. Uh, fair enough. Uh, Nova, what are you going to try and do? Let's try to shoot this guy. Uh, go ahead. Let's say, or what's that one for this one? Um, I'm going to say it's a difficulty, again, difficulty 15. You. Hey! And right there. Oh! Yeah. Critical success! Ah. Wait, no, wait, no, it's a, it's a coin flip. Never mind. Done. What do you say? It's a crit. What do you mean by coin, coin flip? I don't know what we do in a tie situation, or if it's still attack or win. Meets it, meets it, beats it. If the result of the skill dice portion, not including the D2 result of the rolls showing highest numbers and and value on one or more of the skill dice and the skill roll is successful, this is considered a critical success. Well, I but can say that you... It does beat the evasion, which is 11. <sighs> e20, 13, 15. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, I'd say you've... I'd say that's a success. Yeah, unless, there we go. Uh, unless I'm missing something. It clears the evasion. It clears the uh, the party's evasion. It's a success, but not a critical success, despite what it says. Yeah. This battle system's weird. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, as you take a shot, uh, the energy blast hits him, and it kind of like propels him forward a little bit as he turns to clay dust. As no. Uh He's gonna be cheek before this end. He's gonna cheekily look at her, at the captain, like raise raise his eyebrow and walk in, run back in here. 
I'll allow that in a moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, don't get over. Just like that. Phase um, two. You know, maybe, maybe not. Because uh, as that happens, this side of the hangar explodes. The wall gets lit, and in uh, in charges. Uh, this looking dude who is rather large. Oh, goody! He wants to speak to Space Manager. Uh, what we have here, ladies and gentlemen is a lizard with snake legs and arms carrying a bow and arrow. Oh shit, it's Nero Napier. <laughs> uh, as he walks in, he goes, I am the lizard. What the hell have you done to my party patrollers? You want something done right? Do it yourself. And we are now going to uh, You guys can stay in this initiative order if you want or you can re-roll I'm happy with mine, but uh, I am going yeah. to re-roll for the snizzard Get rid of the party patroller Out sheets now I won't be rolling. Uh, I've lost the snizzards. Uh, have a sheet. Oh. Uh, he's a very big boy. Size common. Common size would be one square, right? Yes. Yeah. Depending on the one size. Basically medium. Yeah. Uh, what is initiative? Mission. Zero. I don't know why. Snag. Normal. Oh. Oh boy. He's got a 19. I'm just gonna add him because I didn't highlight the token because I'm an idiot. To be fair, it, it took a while for uh, highlighting the token to stick with me. Yeah. So the snizzard has arrived. Uh. Cutting your celebration a little bit short. Um, Arrow, you don't know what's just happened, but you've just heard a giant explosion. And uh, this muffled sound of this, like, hissing, hissing voice. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, turn order ensues anew. So... We now, oh shit, music changed. Yeah. We're now moving in this one. So, Arrow, what do you do? Uh, Doc, you might want to hurry it up. I think there's something out there. If it was it the blue key or the yellow key, I can never remember. The bit overpowering that track was. Like, overpowering just barely. Because, again, the music is awesome. Yeah. Power Chris has always had great music. I love Ron Wasserman. Ah, I'm probably gonna have to go pull up his fucking wasicles, aren't I? 
Looks at looks at overdrive and just brushes it under the rug. Yeah, most of Power Rangers. <laughs> uh, ignore this for a second. Okay. Needed to add that. I forgot that was a thing he could do. Okay. Cool. Once again, I'm not sure what I can do on my turn, because I don't have any, uh... You are limited by your imagination, my friend. Alright. Can I do anything to assist, uh... to assist the professor? Yeah, you can, um... try and see what he's doing. Get a closer look. Yeah. Uh, as you look at it, you see he's... Uh, fumbling with uh, uh, two sets of keys. Uh, one, uh, two set, you already see one red key, one that's been placed in a red, uh, one red key that's been placed in one of them. Now he's trying to figure out the sequence, like, like the code to open up the. Do you like uh, when like the, the the key the keyhole itself is like covered by a, like a like a plastic cover? Mm -hmm. He's trying to get that done. But yeah, so you could. You could take one of the keys off him and, like, try and force open the plastic thing, or, you know, just type in numbers to get to open it up if you want. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and uh, see if I can get that key open. No, oh, give me a... What would equivalent strength? Brawn? Yeah, I would say brawn. Yeah, give me a give me a brawn roll. All right. At difficulty, difficulty fifteen. Brawn. Ah no! You kind of punch. You kind of like you take the key from the professor. He kind of looks at you like, "What are you doing?" You kind of punch the plastic, but it's kind of like bulletproof stuff. So it's like, oh, um, like that. And you were like, like that. you're not going to suffer any damage, but you, your hand now hurts. Oh! It's funny, uh, it's like both of us, both of us hear him, him scream like that. What's going on in there? <laughs> that, uh, professor's just kind of like, Looks at you, just like, well, that wasn't very smart, now was it? Now, as, he said, <laughs> as, as, he, as he says that, like, the blue, the blue one pops up. He puts the key in and twists it. Uh, and uh, those lights go green, and he snatches the yellow one back off you. Aww. Go and... Uh, he's just like mum still mumbling to himself. Uh, uh, you know, he kind of pops up and looks at the screen, uh, like uh, over at the console. And I didn't put that on repeat. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna put that on repeat. Ah, oh. is that your turn? That is my turn. Okay, cool. The snizzard is going to move. He's now going to move into the room. Two, three, four, five. He's underneath uh, the gantry. So, Marika and Nova, you can no longer see him. But what he is going to do is use a perk. He's going to use a full action to summon two putties into the scene. Oh no, he's a summoner. Yeah. Uh, and these guys, uh, if I can, is within 15 feet of him, each summons them. One here. And then another one is here. These guys will then get their turn at the end of Snizzard's next go. They will 
Yeah, they don't get an initiative. That's just where they get inserted into the initiative order. And he's going to. Uh, like he's uh, as he says this, he says, "Parties to me." There's that two parties. Like you start to hear the like Nova and Marika. You hear like the mumbling of the parties again. Okay, and that is going to be the Snizzard's turn. Well, Nova sees them. Uh, I mean, again, they're underneath the gantry, so. Oh, so the so like they're they're blocked. Yeah, yeah, you can't see them, but you can hear them. Get inside. We need, we need that, or we need that extra help. Right in here. How's it looking? I'd like. I think uh, he's almost done. He's just input. She's just again inputting the code in it into this thing, but it's like the wires are fried and whatnot. So he's struggling a little bit to open up the glass. No, it's like he's in. Would you like to reset your password? <laughs> yeah, more or less. <laughs> Here, your free trial of Wind War has expired. Would you like to renew? Oh Jesus. Your 30 day trial has expired, would you like to purchase Winrar? Yeah. It's like, that, that has uh, been like the dumbest thing that they've ever done. Give you the product and then say, hey, you still need to pay for it, but we're not going to. Not but we can't really do anything about it. Right, so whatever you're doing, do it fast. There's a monster outside. And Brett's kind of looks up to you and goes, that, that, that's not good. No, it's not. Uh, is that your turn? That's my turn. Captain, what are you gonna do? She's gonna look down to all the soldiers, uh, on all the security guardsmen on the floor and just say, All hands on deck, take care of the situation, and she's going to... 15, 20, 25, she's just gonna get in the, uh, get in the office. Good. Yeah, and she's just gonna kinda look in and look in and just say, what are we what's the progress? Uh as you say that this professor jumps up and says, Ah, I got them He pulls out a briefcase. Uh and then instantly like before, like even like anything else, he kind of just like. Uh, yeah, he's gonna make his way over to the um, to the uh, the computers over here. Uh, and again, he's not close enough to this computer yet. So unfortunately, that's the the professor's turn. Uh, the soldiers, upon seeing this uh, guy, are going to take up defensive situation. They're going to move closer to the to the monster. Two, three, six, and he's going to take a shot at again the putty. Mr. Emergen, where are you? John Emergen. Uh, he's going to take a shot. No specialization, no skill shift, get like 10. Uh, and yeah, this this putty, he's not even been here two seconds. Uh, and he just gets obliterated. Uh, that's his turn. This guy. Two, three, four, six. He is now going to take a shot at the other putty upon listening to the captain's orders. Uh, but he's going to whiff. Unfortunately. 
Uh, and that's his turn. This guy. Two, three, four, six. Same again. He's going to take a shot at the putty. That hits. Yes, by one. Hearing it by one, this putty gets annihilated, and as he does that, the slizzard kind of just looks at the two of them, just like, useless. Um, it's his turn. This guy, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all he can do, and this guy's gonna one, two, three, six. Arrow, it's your turn. Professor, is it is it ready yet? Hold Run on. Crunch. Hold on, hold on. Again, the professor, like he's now speaking in he's now speaking in Edenoy's language. I don't I I don't want to say Edenese. That just sounds racist. Um. Speaking the language of Eden, he's mumbling. He's opened the briefcase. Didn't think this battle would take this long. <laughs> well, relatively quick, actually. All things considered. Yeah, true. Uh, is that all Arrow's gonna do? More or less. Okay. It's the Stizzard's turn. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, so the Stizzard, upon seeing the parties fall down, he just kind of looks at the guards that have assembled. Uh, and he's going to make his way towards... This guy. Full on charge. Uh, and he's going. going to, he's just going to attack the guy in front of him. Uh. Mm. No specialization. Like, never specialization. Just checking. Okay, cool. Uh, no, it's like that, so this is just a basic. No change. Uh, this is unfortunately difficulty five. For oh, I forgot that was my hockey. You just had free pigeon. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll use that next time. I'll use the, I, I won't use that one. I forgot. I put my keypad as my uh, hockey button. Uh, no snap like that. Claws eight. Ooh. I don't think he. Uh... Wait, is it lower the difficulty, the harder, or the higher? Uh, the, lower, the higher the difficulty, the, the harder. The higher the difficulty, harder. Okay. Um, Skill for I'm sharp. I don't think he. I, I think this this uh, security guard. Oh god, sorry. I think this security guard just got lucky in that. The Slizzard's attack did not connect. <laughs> Might plus D8. Skill plus four. Yeah, wow, he just rolled a, he, he just rolled an eight. That's um. Hmm. Again, this is where I'm not sure I've done that right. Oh, is his might plus D8? So his might is. D8. Might is a D8 plus 4. Roll a D20. Got a 4. Uh, 
I should have gone through, right? That's that's correct. Sorry, I need to double chat this. Yeah, I mean, he just rolled shit. Lucky dude. Okay, so the snizzer takes a swing at the guy. But, um, luckily, uh, this guy, he kind of just whiffs. Because of uh, the toughness. These security guys have a toughness. Of you know, they're, they're, you know, they may be, you know, small grunt foot soldier type, type dudes, but they, you know, they can, they can hold themselves in a fight. But uh, yeah, he's definitely not doing great. So, yeah. Okay, so the Snizzards now engaged in combat with this. I, I think that's all I can do. Movement, action, attack action. Yeah, that's his turn. Unless he's got anything as a free action. Oh, he does have a free action. Uh, zap. He's going to use a free action. Uh, anyone who can see, uh, and this is more for like that, the apple on his head starts to, like, glow. And that's his turn. Nova, you're up. God, I hope I'm doing this right. Gotta get this done fast. I hate to hurry you up a little bit more, but come on. Is that all you're doing? Like, that's all. That's all he can really do. Like he can't. Like he doesn't want to go back out out there because he can't really uh, see anything. Uh, uh Captain. Uh. Uh, Marika is just going to, uh, just kind of turn to Arrow and, uh, Nova and just say, help the professor with whatever he needs, and 5, 10, 15. Are these doors open or closed? Uh, these doors are, oh, they're not locked, if that's what you're saying. Okay, yeah, so. 5, 10, 15, free action, open door. Uh. 20, 25, 30. Get to get right here, press against the wall, and do I see the situation unfolding? Yes. I can't shoot from here. He's too far away, but I'll just uh, keep an eye out. <laughs> Basically, what me and, me and the, our arrow are doing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as the professor gets to this panel, uh, he takes out. Uh, he he then opens up uh, another hatch. Like the briefcase itself is like one of those laptop briefcases. He plugs it into the the um, the console, and then the sequencing starts. And he says, and "That he said, almost there, almost there." Uh, that's his turn. Uh, this is where shit gets scary, folks. Uh, the... Security guards... Take a shot. Point blank at the snizzard. Uh, but the... Uh, the, the blast just ricochets off him. Um... This is the point where you find. This is where he just kind of laughs and says, points out that your your energy blasts have no effect on me, because he has a perk where he's immune to ranged energy attacks. Oh, lovely! At that, so the point blank soldier is kind of like, ah, oh, well, shit. Ah, yes. Uh, so well, that's a problem. Yep. Two, three, four, five. So this guy's gonna run in. 
he's just gonna try and hit him. Uh, oh, punch! Oh my God! He actually does. Yes. Oh, I was kidding. Oh, this man, my lord! So this guy runs. I can't believe it. This guy, this is a like he beats his toughness there. Holy! This that guy. That is a critical success. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, Snizzard, not seeing this guy run up from bes like beside him, takes a it takes a sharp punch to the head, loses one health. I guess. One your your guns have no effect on me. Yeah. How about a fist? <laughs> critical success. Uh, whatever kinds of base effects the attack could have, the the attack may choose to stack on an additional attack effect. In many cases, this will simply be choosing the damaging effect a second time, but many attacks will have alternate and additional effects like skill penalties, knocking prone, forfeiting a actions, etc. Yeah. So, so you could just double the damage if you want. I'm not going to do that, because otherwise it will what I have planned. Ah. Uh, but yeah, this, this is kind of like, you son of a bitch. <sighs> that man better run, he's about to die. I can't believe that happened. Uh, the guy in front of him is gonna take a swing. Uh, that one also hits. And the Slithered, uh, again, takes one damage. Oh. This is not playing out how I thought it would. Thank you for thank you. Rolls of the dice. Uh, this guy. Six. He's not in range. We so can't do nothing. Two. Six. Yeah, he's base, these guys are just basically trying to swarm him. For that so we get back around it arrow it's your turn all right I, I would suggest going to the professor all right just dukes of hazard across the table I'll allow it. As you get over, you see that the prof that you see like a like a loading bar that says ninety five percent complete. The professor uh, type like typing furiously. Uh, is that all you do? Anything I can do to help? You can deliver these, and um, but he'll say that on his turn. Uh, so it's now the Snizzard's turn. For the sake of story, I'm now going God mode. Uh, I'm going to say that the Snizzard, upon getting swarmed, uh, uh, just shouts, "Just enough!" Kind of like lets out a giant wave of energy from from the apple on his head and unfortunately the guys that are up close they get blown away like completely and they are not moving Marika you see this happen Gonna just kind of like lean in, lean inside the door, guys. Get in here. And the snizzard laughs. Uh, and then kind of like uh, just out of the corner of his eye, spots you, Marika. Uh, it's like that. You wanna try it, girl? 
In the name of Dark Spectre, I am telling you that it's, this is hopeless. We have control of the satellite. He kind of like lets a maniacal laugh. Half laugh, half, half uh, hiss. And he's going to start moving towards the room. <laughs> and, yes, thank you. He kind of like bends this wing as well. That's the Snizzard's turn. Is, is uh, Marika still looking in, in the doorway? Yes. She's kind of like pressed up against the wall, so she kind of can look in, kind of can't. Get in here. He's It's done. We're about to be done. He's going to go, like, use as much, as much movement as possible to go right there. Alright. She'll nod her head and open door. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We'll just get right here. Actually, you know what? I'll take the sprint action, so that will get me right here next to the professor. Um, as you do that, I so as you do that, uh, the professor hits an enter button and up on the screen says complete and then he hands you three braces uh, oh you two are not the first choice we have very little time there is no we have no other choice yeah take these he hands you uh, uh nova you would reckon you would kind of recognize the look of these they kind of look like the astromorphers you saw it on the wrist of this of the Astro Rangers, like when they were uh, helping you get off planet in their unmorphed forms. These are your cyber braces. These will allow you to morph into the Cyber Strike Power Rangers. Now go take care of that monster. Input the code five four one. After, after the sequencing is complete, just yell cyber uh, like that like that. Input the voice command cyber eyes. And like he kinda like shows you, like he pushes the button and he like slides back to reveal like a console of numbers. And 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 uh, the the large like globe part of it is if I can I'll pull up the uh I will pull up the image for the sake of the guys in chat. So you guys have seen the uh, the art. Yes, but it's still really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, like that. so basically to morph, you press the button on the side, it slides back. You input the code 541. Uh, a voice will then say brace, uh, uh, brace for morph. Uh, and then you kind of like spread your arms like the Time Force Rangers. Take one step forward with your left foot and then hit the button by bringing your fist up over, like your left hand up over to your shoulder. Pressing the uh, the globe and then set, saying Cyber Eyes. So it's morphing time. Input the code uh, Cyber Eyes. Works for me. Okay. And for the sake of storytelling, is it here? Uh, you three <laughs> that, that as it comes up so um captain take it away yeah the door is open i'm guessing uh, or I mean, closed do a cool morph sequence <laughs> okay i mean so she's gonna look at the two and just say don't fall behind it's more for time and inputs the code five four one Cyber Eyes presses the button. Uh, as you do this, you are surrounded by red morphing grid energy. And 
this uh, you are surrounded. You, you are then enveloped in the suit of uh, the Cyber Strike Red Ranger. Yeah. Uh, I believe. That was... I believe on your character sheet you press the it's morphing time button and. Yep. That. that. And now that you are Power Rangers, you now have access to. Two weapons, as the uh, the professor says to you. Uh, well, not the professor. Like it comes over like that. You have uh, the Astro Blaster. I know it says Astro Blaster and Turbo Blade. They're actually called the Strike Blaster and the Cyber Saber. These are two stock weapons that all three of you have access to. Do you see these? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. Um, if you could add those to your. Uh, your character sheets as weapons permanently you have access to them now. And for the sake of brevity, I'm going to say Arrow and Nova, you also morphed alongside of Marika. This is the only time I'm going to let you do this outside of turn order. What is the uh, what is the skill that the blades go off of? Because uh, it doesn't really say on the sheet. Next shot. Um, I'm going to say availability standard melee energy. I'm going to put that under. I'm going to put the table blade under. I'm going to say that's going to be under. It's like a, a melee attack, I guess. So, might for the skill? Yeah, might. I'd say might. Let's go with might. Sidearm. Melee. Energy. Well, what would you say the size is for these? Probably like medium? Uh, yeah. Say finesse would work? Um, I will say finesse as well if you would prefer as finesse. If, if, if that's like your your thing. Mm-hmm. Like I said, these weapons are personal to like, although like you all three of you have them, you can use them in whatever way you want. I'll allow like, you know, if you're really good, if like if you're really good with a uh, targeting and stuff like that, obviously you're going to prefer a blaster over a sword. But... Uh, those are yours now forever and always. So, as the Snizzard tried coming up on this, um, here, tried coming up here to attack, uh, the wall itself is kind of, like, blown apart by grid energy, and the three of you kind of, like, step out. Uh, for a ranger roll call, um, uh, you are, it would literally just be like, uh, uh, Cyber Red, Strike Ready, Cyber Blue, Strike Ready, Cyber Yellow, Strike Ready. Uh, I know this is a bit, supposed to be a bit more not cheesy, but it's Power Rangers. I've got to get the cheese in there somehow, and the roll call was one of the ways of doing it. No, no, I, I dig it. Oh, yeah, so yeah, you have the roll call. Yep. So it's Cyber Red, Strike Ready. Uh, I'm kind of ripping off the Lightspeed one, which is... Uh, Red Ranger, Rescue, Rescue Ready. Ready, yeah. But yeah, it's like that. This, right. and upon seeing this, the Snizzard is like... He does the... The, the, the casual... Um, the casual... Not the casual, like the, you know, the standard stock... Power Rangers! Type yell. And we will continue the fight. Uh, I will say though, time check for a zombie. I got about 12 minutes. Uh, okay, so I'll give you the choice. We can either end it there with the morph, or you can try and get this done as quick as we can. It's up to you. I know you've got to like shoot off like owl, basically. 
Is this feel like if we're going to stop because you have to go? This feels like a good, good place. Yeah, to Yeah, I'd be like I, I wouldn't care either way. But this is a good, like, natural, like you know, to be continued. Yeah. Uh, if everyone's cool with that. Yeah, that works that's, for that's, me. that's fine by me. Yeah. Um. Well then, congratulations. Uh, in the greater extended Power Rangers universe, you three are now the Cyber Strike Power Rangers. Yep. If we ever get picked up uh, and become as famous as other D and D games on the Webernet, get invited to conventions and get given all the good stuff. No, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and the residual again, shape for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Uh, that was my f again. That was my first time running a battle as a DM, and it was these guys' first time. It was all of our first time using this battle system. I think we did it right. I kept second guessing myself the whole way, but I guess this, this is just. I mean, well, he's not. He's like one of the lowest level monsters I've got to use at the moment. So, yeah, these are not good. And I keep. I kept going back as reference. I don't think I did anything different from what. Obey and the guy. So, uh, I think that went well. Yeah, I think we did everything that. I think we did everything according to according to the rules. Yeah. Now, again, I have to apologize that you know I went live a bit early. Uh, next week again, I'll try and not do that. Uh, let me look at what my schedule is next week, see if we can keep this a little bit. See if we can streamline this a little bit. Next week I'm off, so we'll, so uh, you won't be waiting on me next week. That's awesome to hear. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do apologize if it was a bit clunky in places while I double-checked rules and stuff. Uh, again, Cryptic, thank you for also double checking on the rules. Mm hmm. Uh, for that. Um, I said, like I said, I got the the putties wrong. I didn't know that they get uh, they get an edge apparently when they're grouped up. And uh, I I saw time was getting around, so I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna have to God BS this shit. But yeah, you guys, you morphed, you know. Uh. Uh. Yeah, um, thanks once again for tuning in to the episode. I know this is the second one, but again, this is the official episode one of Power Rangers Cyber Strike. If you've been in the chat, uh, Wolfinators, thank you for the resubscription. Never a Ruffian, thank you for the resubscription. Uh, again, I'm learning as much as these guys are learning. Uh, where can they find you guys? We'll go, uh, let's go from, uh, let's go. Just good up the list. Uh, Zombie, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me here Thursdays playing Rick. You can find me on Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash Burnout Vaughn for Chota Personality, where I play all these Vrinwood. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at ChocoZombie101. Uh, and also, before we leave, just to make you feel better, Twitch, because you mis-inputted it. There's your pigeon redeem. <laughs> <That's a> pigeon. <laughs> uh... Well, Forgot. you have to you have to do it now. Actually, I don't, 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 don't. Oh. Yeah, I forgot that my keyboard. Like, I don't have a stream deck, so like my number pad is where all my hotkeys are. So when I when I changed the um the difficulty to five, I saw the OBS screen shift, and I was like, oh shit! <laughs> Got free pigeon. Uh, cryptic. Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash cryptic underscore Cyogen, and uh, usually Saturday nights at 8 o'clock Central, we have uh, World Domination Wrestling. Uh, in the meantime, as uh, we're rebuilding, uh, that's not a bit of a hiatus. Oh yeah, do I know that? <laughs> it's the life of a showrunner, buddy! Uh, 2K22 problems. Uh, DeLuna, where can they find you? You can find me at DLuna1338 on Twitter. Everywhere else you might want to care about finding me at DeLuna13. 
on Tuesdays, you can find me along with Chaco on on uh, Burnout Vaughn's stream, uh, Chol's personality, playing Zeno, the... I'm just going to say it. The idiot, or the idiot sorcerer, who was basically uh, Chad Magic Guy from from freaking uh, Joe Cat's uh, Crap Guides. Nice. I like. I realize. I watch those again. I'm like, yeah, that's just who I'm playing. Really, he's not the smartest guy in the world at all. And of course, you can find me right here. Uh, I again, I'm trying to get back to a uh, a place where I'm at least streaming twice a week with. Sorry, Cyberstrike and an NPW. Again, I'm going through some growing pains of that because 2K22 is not a good game. Um, get on your shit, WWE. Anyway, um, but I will be trying to like play some more variety games during the week and whatnot like that. But yes, once again, thank you to my players for being here. And I will see you all next week for episode two of Power Rangers Cyberstrike where the Rangers will have their first fight against the Snizzard. I think we're gonna read anybody. It has to be Rabbit. Uh, yeah. if, if, if Rabbit's online. Yeah, Rabbit is currently playing RuneScape. Yep. Uh, of course, you know the raid message. It will be Go Go Cyber Strike. I think that's just gonna be the standard one. Uh huh. Uh, or Go Go Power Rangers Rabbit. Uh, Power Rangers. Go Go Power Rangers. Go Go Power Rangers Cyber Strike. I, by the way, Twitch, you're going to like this. Like last last session, I, I pointed out to to Rabbit that he's basically become our Bosco, uh -huh. the guest character that was a temporary character that turned into a permanent. I hope that's correct. Unless invalid username, hey, Mister. It's just all one. It's just all one. Uh, all one word. Yeah. All under caps. Lowercase. He's the Bosco we wanted and deserve. Hey. Yeah, the uh, raid message, go go Power Rangers Cyber Strike, and we will see you all next week. Until then, thanks again once again for playing, thanks for watching, and as always, may the power protect you. Yes, I'm cheesy, I don't give a fuck. Goodbye! <laughs> and... Yep.